All right, so not only did we just get a brand new starter pack, as you can see right here, the Metalcore Mina pack, but there is also a brand new PlayStation Celebration pack. So if you weren't aware, these are 100% free if you own a PlayStation, either four or five, obviously. And you also have to have PlayStation Plus. Now, most of you probably have PlayStation Plus, but if you don't, they also offer a free trial. So you can do the seven day free trial, get this for free, and then cancel it and you're good to go, 100% free. So if you're on the PlayStation 5, all you have to do is go to the home screen and the celebration pack will appear. If you're on the PlayStation 4, you gotta come over here to the store and then at the very top, go to search and type in Fortnite and we should see the new pack pop up. Let's just take a peek. I'm gonna type the word in full and right here the blue phoenix pack so it looks like you get a skin a back bling and a pickaxe wow so you want to click download and then nothing actually happens if that flashes like that on the ps4 then you know you did it right because now when you try to go to overview nothing happens because when you hit download it actually downloaded it but it doesn't tell you that so if you click download and the screen flashes, you're good. So after you do that, you need to close your app entirely. Otherwise it won't appear. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna go back in. Now we should get the purchased items notification on the top left. There it was real quick. Wow, that flashed really, really quick, but it was there. I saw it. So there we go. The skin, the back bling, as well as the pickaxe, whoa. That is a weird looking pickaxe, the Ember Baton. Nice, it says move like wildfire. The back bling is called the Burning Ember Holster. So I notice everything's red and black except for the skin. So the skin name I think is pronounced Jun Wan. Hopefully I'm saying that right. I'm pretty sure this is a Korean skin. Someone correct me if I'm wrong. This might be the first ever Korean skin we've ever had. Look how sweet he looks though. Nice hair. I love that silver, but there's not much red and black. He's got that little red and black logo right there, and that's it. Compared to his back bling and pickaxe, though, that's a lot of red and black. So his description says, burn bright, burn fast. Again, part of the Blue Phoenix set. So like I said, he looks pretty sweet. I love that hair. He does have his ears pierced, or at least one of them. I do like the overall design. Looks like a solid looking skin. You wouldn't even think this was a PlayStation skin. There's hardly any blue at all on the skin. Most of the PlayStation Celebration Pack skins have the PlayStation colors on them. So this is a little confusing to me. His hair is blue, but not the PlayStation color blue. And there's no blue whatsoever on the back bling. Same thing for the pickaxe, as you saw, it's just red and black. Very strange. All right, so let's go ahead and check this out. My friend Brandocious, AKA Brando, made me a map to review my skins. This is the first time I've ever tried it. Look at that, he's got my emblem right there. It literally says Tabor Hill, that's awesome. It says Tabor Hill Cosmetic Review. This is my first time ever going in here, so I don't know what to expect, but hopefully, because they removed Battle Lab, this is gonna be all I need. So here we go, let's go try this out. Look at that, I like that. All right, let's see what happens when this starts. So it's like a little castle, it looks like. All right, so it looks like he gave me a scar and a thunder shotgun, nice. And what's this remote? What? It can change a day or night? That's pretty cool. So you can instantly check reactivity? No way. That is really dark too. That's pretty cool. All right, so as you can see, he is a fairly plain skin. The back bling is kind of big. Let's see if it's interactable with the pickaxes. It is. One pickaxe does come out. Looks like there's two batons in there, so that's kind of weird. I wonder why they didn't make it a dual baton because clearly it is a dual baton weapon, but at least it is interactable with the back bling. I was gonna say, the back bling is a little bulky, 
And in fact, I think you could get away with not running it at all, but the fact that it is interactable is pretty sweet. Let's see if there's a contrail. Oh yeah, look at that red after image. See, that's pretty nice, but I hate these pickaxes. Not this one in particular, but this type. So Batman Zero has one like this too. I feel like, and maybe it's just the animation, but it's so slow to swing. Just look how clunky and slow this feels. I never run the Batman Zero pickaxe because of this reason. This drives me crazy. Even when you're chopping on a tree, I just feel like it's so slow. But it could just be my eyes playing tricks on me. Now he said to use the spray wall. Check out the Dragon Ball Z artwork. Let's go. Did he make it unbreakable? Yes. Oh, there's no splash though. Are you kidding me? Why wouldn't they have made it a red? That's not cool. So a nice contrail, but unfortunately no splash effect. Yeah, he's just a plain skin. There's nothing animated on him. There's nothing reactive. He's just a nice looking unique skin. And as you saw, even in the dark, nothing glows. I don't see anything lighting up. He said there's a button that can spawn enemies where it looks like a training ground. Oh, here we go, spawn guard. Let's see if he's secretly reactive. Oh, sweet. Wait, do the guards count as kills though? What the? Now that was cool. It looks like it did a firework up there. Let's try that again. I'm gonna get a kill here. <laughs> okay, so I gotta test real quick if that actually counts for a reactive nature. So from what I saw here, nothing is reactive on this skin. But let me just try for my own curiosity. All right, so obviously Midas is reactive. So let's just spawn in a guard and see. Um. No, so that does not count. So I'll have to ask Brando to put someone else because guards don't register as people. So there's not much else to say. It's a pretty normal looking skin, but it is unique in that it's Korean and it's got a nice color scheme. But for a free skin, you can't really complain. So I'm just gonna hop into a real match and get one elimination just to double check on the reactivity. So let's just try that real quick. Hello, sir. Goodbye, sir. Poop boy. He had two hammers? Are you kidding me? No, I didn't see any reactivity there whatsoever. Here he comes. Here he comes. He thinks he's safe. Oh, God. I'm coming for you, Hulk Hogan. Gotta hit those, buddy. Who just did that? You? Uh oh, I froze. The hammer of justice. Sir, you can't run. You can't run, sir. I think that was a bot. Oh my, that guy just got lasered. He thinks he's getting away. Oh, I guess he is getting away. Oh, I got him. What the heck was he doing in the storm still? Ooh, we hit that guy pretty good too. Oh God! Are you kidding me? 
Did that just happen? This guy camping like a bot that I didn't even see behind the refrigerator with a banned username just killed me? Are you kidding me? Okay, I gotta watch until... I'm salty. I am 100% salty. I did not deserve to die to this guy. Not only did he catch me by surprise camping like Indiana Jones behind the freezer, but my game froze right as he shot me. Are you kidding me? There is no way this guy deserves to win. What an absolute rat. It's a 1v1v1. Let's see where the other guys are. Oh man, they don't even have full shield. This guy's primed to win. He's got a good loadout. Fish blub. Come on, buddy. You gotta get this little bot. Oh, he's not even picking up the RPG. Are you kidding me? He could easily RPG someone. Oh my goodness. I wish I had that perk that marked enemies. I would have known exactly where he was. That's the only perk I don't have in the entire game. I wish I could DM these guys and be like, hey, there's someone camping in this house. Oh, don't be emoting. What are you doing? Go get that guy. He's in the house. This guy must recognize me. Yes, right there, that house. Go see where I died. Yes, shoot that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, come on. Get this rat out of there. Come on, keep looking that way. I love this guy, Fishblub. You are my hero. Come on, keep shooting over there. You got it. How does he know he's over there? He must have marked him. I think he did get marked. Yes! Get this little rat out of the game. Nice shot, Blub. And my game froze again, but that's okay. We're still going to watch him get demolished. Yes! Come on, Fishblub. Yes! Nice shot! That's what I'm talking about! Get wrecked! Now this guy that I think might recognize me... Oh, he just knocked him into the storm. It's coming back up. Backside, A side, B side, impulse it, but no effect. My game freezes again because PS4 is garbage. We got a hammer war going on here. Oh, game freezes again. Hits him with the hammer. Impulse. Oh, he's gonna. Oh, he went down. Fish blub wins it. Wow, GG's fish blub. Thank you for redeeming that absolute bot that ruined my game. I would have loved to 1v1 you, but thank you so much for killing him. So there you go, the new PlayStation Plus Celebration Pack, a skin, a back bling, and a pickaxe. Like I said, this is strange. The fact that these all three have nothing to do with PlayStation, one of the few rare instances where the Celebration Pack seems to be just completely random. I don't know, maybe I'm missing something? Someone will have to let me know in the comments, why are these PlayStation Plus items? The color scheme's not there, the theme's not there, I'm just a little confused. With that said, it's a good skin. I have no complaints about it. Color scheme's good. Nothing animated, nothing reactive. So if you like a low-key character, this skin is for you. So there you go. That's how you get a free skin, free back bling, and a free pickaxe. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is Tabor Time.